Hello. Okay, I just went and saw Kamini simply, you know, because there was so much hype about the fact that this is Vishal Bharadwaj's new movie and this and that. And I personally loved Omkara very much. Who did not? So I said, you know, I have to really go and see this. Nice, but I have to really say at parts of it, I was honestly thinking this is like an Omkara hangover because it just looked in parts like he just replaced the star cast and the rest of it was all the same. Having said that, that would be extremely sort of minimalistic because the movie is really good. Okay, maybe not so good, but the movie is good. Here's actually the problem. To be very honest, if I had not heard about the fact that Kamine is a nice movie, I think I would have enjoyed it more. But this is like, you know, when you keep thinking about the fact that there's this most beautiful woman that you have to meet and then you meet like somebody who is beautiful, you're thinking, I'm sure there's somebody who's prettier than her, right? That's exactly what my problem in this movie was. It's nice, but could it be done differently? Who cares? The story itself, you know, in a nutshell, is about uh, Shahid Kapoor in a double role. One guy is like this drug peddler fellow and the other brother is basically this nice little sweet fellow who stammers a little bit and Priyanka Chopra plays the stammering guy's love interest. Here's a funny thing. This is actually one of my favourite scenes in the movie. There's a point when uh, Priyanka and Shahid are just about to make out and they're all very sort of hot and sensual and for some strange reason they're talking about all the names of the cities in India that have been changed. So they're slowly saying Chennai and... Bengaluru and uh, Bombay or Kolkata and at this point I'm thinking are there more cities because just kiss her already and that's really how we were. I love this film you know not so much for the entirety of it all but there were these moments which are very very nice. Overall I thought the movie was slightly long but chalo I'm willing to live with that. Here's the funny part though when I was watching the movie I didn't really think anything about you know the fact that Shahid may have any resemblance to Shahrukh but there was actually a guy behind me in a couple of roles who actually said this is Shahrukh in this scene. Soon enough what was it one dance move where Shahid is doing this trademark uh, Shahrukh Khan thing and fair enough he looks like that provided you think about it. I did not so I may not have really uh, felt stuff like that. Small small stuff in the movie that I thought was very cool so there's this scene where um, Shahid is really you know sort of upset because he just found out that uh, well, I won't tell you what he found out, but he found out something interesting about Priyanka and him. And he's sitting in this old little public bathroom kind of a place and it nicely says, uh, Apna Hath Jagannath. You know, which is something which you see in a lot of these public restrooms. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good for you, keep it that way. But funny stuff like that, it's very, very nice. It's very sort of pacey and the movie is very quick and you really have to be watching it because if you don't, you are bound to sort of miss parts of it. Um... My problem with this, you know, one of the things was the nicest song, which is Aja Aja Dil Ne Cho. The song comes, it's a very nice song and all, but there was no requirement for it in the movie. It did nothing. It just, it was a nice sort of three minute song that I saw and it went away. And from Vishal Bharadwaj, you don't expect one little plug item to just come. I think that was my larger issue with this song. To be very honest with you, if I hadn't heard about the movie, like I said, I would have loved the movie, but expectation is a bad word. And that's exactly what happened to me. In fact, when I came back, I was just sort of googling a little bit about Shahid and this movie and whatnot. And this is the part which got me a little irritated because he says that the six pack that he has in the film is actually not for this film. It's for another movie that Ken Ghosh is actually directing. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to lose like a couple of grams from my stomach and that's difficult. And here is Shahid saying, ah, oh, you know, the six pack is just accidental. Celebrities. Anyway, you tell me what you thought about the movie as well, right? See you.